Hello everyone, welcome to the tutorial about negation detection in natural language processing. In today's agenda, we're going to understand why we need negation detection. I will introduce NegX as a simple but powerful solution, and I will go over why we would choose this method among other alternatives. Finally, I will explain how it works and end with a Python tutorial. In general, a problem with NLP is that it often struggles with negation detection. Let's say we have a sentence here, patient has a headache but no fever. As a human being, we know that headache is a symptom that's present, but fever is a symptom that's absent. But now let's ask NLP to do it. Take Stanza for example. Stanza is an NLP tool developed by Stanford University published in 2020. It's specifically designed to handle medical and clinical text. If we ask Stanza, what kind of medical problems do you detect? And by the way, this task is called named entity recognition. Stanza is going to say that two medical problems are detected. They're both present, but we know that this is not correct. To address the problem of negations, we have NegX, which is a simple but powerful solution invented in 2001 by Wendy Chapman. It was originally created to detect negations in the medical domain but now it can be extended to many different domains in different languages besides English. You might ask, why should I choose NegX? After all, it's a 20-year-old algorithm. But NegX is still very popular for a reason. Compared to other solutions, NegX is very simple to understand. It's a rule-based method that uses dictionary lookup. It is also accessible. There are off-the-shelf packages that you can download and use right away. And most importantly, it is robust. The results are fairly accurate. Depending on the data sets, usually the accuracy is above 70%. Although there are other solutions out there that are newer, in general, they don't have all of these advantages. Sometimes they achieve better performance in select data sets, but then they perform worse compared to NegX in other data sets. So how does NegX work? I'm going to cover the basic ideas. NegX recognizes negation by detecting keywords. Inside the algorithm, there are several dictionaries. The first one is preceding negations. These are keywords such as absence of, declined, denied, cannot, etc. They come before the entity. For example, patient denied fever, denied comes before fever. The next dictionary is following negations. These are keywords such as unlikely, free, was not. They follow behind the entity, for example, fever was unlikely. And then there are pseudo negations. These are terms that sound like a negation, but they're really not. For instance, fever was not ruled out. The rules behind NegX is that an entity is negated if it is detected within five words after preceding negations. It will be the opposite if we have following negations. Let's bring back the example we saw earlier. Patient has a headache but no fever. NegX knows that fever is a negated medical problem because it comes after a preceding negation term. Now let's take a look at the Python tutorial. To use this notebook, we need to install several packages. We need Spacey to build NLP pipeline. And we need Stanza for named entity recognition. And then we use Spacey Stanza to wrap Stanza around Spacey so that we can use Stanza in a Spacey pipeline. We need to import NegX as well as term set so that we can customize the negation terms. In the next block, I'm setting up my NLP pipeline. The entities we're detecting here are medical entities. You can easily swap out the NLP pipeline to something else. Before we proceed, I'm going to add customized terms to the default list of terms. I notice that in the default term set for NegX, they're missing negation terms such as abstain from, other than, except for. Here I'm supplementing the default dictionary with my own terms. Next, I'm going to let NegX know what entities we're extracting. So in particular, we are looking for medical problems, medical tests, and medical treatments. And let's take a look at an example. If the output is true, it means that an entity should be negated. 
Let's bring back the old example. Patient had a headache but no fever. We saw that headache is a medical problem that's detected, and it shouldn't be negated. However, fever comes after a preceding negation term, and therefore it should be negated. Next, we have another example: no history of diabetes. Diabetes was detected as a medical problem, and it should be negated. And down here, we have patients should abstain from painkillers like NSAIDs and allergy medications for 24 hours. Here, we recognize the medical treatments such as painkillers, NSAIDs, allergy medications, and because they follow the negation term "abstain from," they should all be negated. And finally, women with pregnancy should not take hormonal birth control. We saw that pregnancy is a medical condition that shouldn't be negated, but hormonal birth control follows after should not, and therefore they should be negated. Yeah, I have some references for if you're interested in reading more about negex and negation handling. I'm going to provide the link to the notebook in the description section underneath the video. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you for your time, and I'll see you next time.